Netflix. Yeah. Um, and then you got Cardi B. Mm-hmm. So if we wanted to touch on those two two subjects. Yeah, I mean, at Cuties is the beginning of what I believe is they're they're throwing a stone in the in the water. The attempt to normalize pedophilia. Basically, oh, that's yeah. exactly what it is. Yeah. And I don't understand how as a parent you can feel comfortable having your child. I mean, for no matter how much money or fame, it's just sad to see like there's parents out there that are okay with their sending their daughters to do the splits and twerk for a movie in yeah. front of old directors. And Yeah, see, to some extent, I can't fully talk about it because I haven't watched the film. But if I if I'm uncomfortable with reading the description of the film, hundred percent I'm not gonna watch it. And just by watching the trailer, I can tell you I have no desire to watch that movie. And anybody who Good. can anybody who can watch that movie and and fully say that there's nothing wrong with it, I think there's a huge perspective change that you need. You're the you're the reason that. He- that you're part of the reason to blame for the civilization collapsing. If you find no real issue with that, in my opinion, you contributing to you're contributing to the fall. Yeah, I think I think I think the way that they move they the way that they made cuties, it was like a double edged sword. They were trying to bring awareness to the over sexualization of children by overly sexualizing children. And that that to me makes one hundred percent, no, no sense at all, and like I guess it begs the question: like, who is going to be watching this film? Like, did you make this film for young children? I don't, I don't feel like that. That's what the uh, that's what the film was catered to. I feel like you're going to get a bunch of weird old men who are watching this film. I mean, Sundance gave you Sundance Festivals gave you an award. <laughs> Didn't their co-founder just get popped for? activity with a minor or being caught in the presence of uh, minors in a, in a bad light please look at the underlying details of what is going on I think it's so obvious and apparent now what's going on and if you can't see what's going on you need to seriously do a little bit more reading and a little more soul searching and possibly think about like where's my wh- which side am I going to stand on like are you going to sit back and be quiet about it and just not speak up and continue to allow your children to watch whatever's promoted and pushed out or are you going to take a stand and have a backbone and maybe be a little controversial because there's not a lot of controversial people out there i mean there are but i feel like not enough people are talking about it as much as there should be there should be a ton a ton more people talking about what's going on right now i think i think the topic of cuties begs a real like question so all of these all of these women talking about women empowerment and women can wear what they want and do what they want. The less women wear, the more attention that, that they get from men. Like it's it it like that. That's common sense. If well, they if understand that. Right. If you're walking down the street in half a shirt and half a pair of shorts, hundred percent you're gonna get you're gonna get comments and looks from men. But by you saying. By you saying, I have every right to wear this, it doesn't make the situation any better. Just like saying, it's not right to over children, but then you give a film that allows children to be over Like, do you not see the, do you not see the, the paradox in that? Like the, oh, what's the word? Do you not see the underlying deception? No, it's like, um. It's like irony. I, I don't it's know ironic, it's but it's not because they know what they're doing. Yeah, they know exactly what they're doing, but they're trying to, and they might have successfully maybe made you think that they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, but they do, and they know what they're doing. That's why they change the description more than once. That's why they change the cover more than once, and that and is why exa- it's exactly why the French cover was completely polar opposite to the American cover. If you pay yeah. attention, yeah. the cover that was made for the European audience was just four girls with a bunch of shopping bags and they looked happy. Needless to say, in that scene in the movie, they had just stolen all that stuff, but that's a different topic. But the American ad was them 
what, four girls, five girls. Yeah. In extremely four. provocative poses. Mm-hmm. And for somebody to sit there and say, oh, well, it's just a cover. Oh, oh, they're not in provocative poses unless unless you are looking at them in a provocative way. Like, that's such BS. Like, let's be honest here. It seems like there, there, there's an argument I feel like because I feel like in today's society, a lot of the fathers have taken more of a feminine role in the families. So well, not I, even that is like it's it's either fathers aren't present or, or they're not. Oh yeah, yeah, most of the time they're not even around. Yeah, 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 most of the time. But I'm saying, let's just say there is a nuclear family for the most part. The dad's beta as heck, and he's not going to lead that relationship in in regards to oh. Yeah, she, he might stand up and say, yeah, she's not watching this and tell the mom, listen, we're not watching this movie. I'm going to monitor what we're watching. But at the end of the day, it's like he has no final say, most likely, because of the a complete just gender role reversals within families. It's almost like the mom has the final say now. And the mom has the ability to just be like, listen, I, there, there's nothing wrong with this. And she can watch what she wants to watch and you're going to let him. And he, he's most likely working or he's not, he's not even there around most of the time to, to step in and say, listen, no, like that's not okay. That's not okay. And uh, he's more likely, I feel like to bend the knee when it comes to issues like this. That's just what I've noticed. I feel like there's just so many fathers out there that have been deceived and just don't even this no backbone no backbone no traditional masculine role where they say no this is how things are going to go and i'm not going to allow this in my house 